Hello everyone, welcome back. Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. Today we are going to do two really quick, simple videos. It's just going to be a quick review. This should be really easy for you. Um, you know, uh, this should be actually review from high school, to be honest. But this is kind of the first thing you're going to see in uh, Strengths and Materials 1, and it's going to be kind of like a review section on vectors. And you can probably expect a couple questions like this on your midterm. Probably harder than this, but it's good to just uh, you know go through a few of these and really get the get the feel for it again. Okay, so uh, I've just made a sketch on the top here. All right, and actually before we start this video, uh, like I, if you guys ever have any questions on our videos or you want to make any comments or something like that, feel free to leave a post below, and we'll absolutely get back to you as soon as we can. You know we're uh, we're all in this kind of together and. Uh, you know, we want to help. So if you ever have any questions about anything that we're doing or, you know, if you think we uh, should include different content, let us know below. All right, with that being said, let's take a look at what we have today. So we're uh, continuing force vectors. I made a little sketch up here. Hopefully it's visible for you guys, nice and clear. And let's read the question. So the question states, if the magnitude of the resultant force is 500 newtons directed along the positive y axis, determine the magnitude of force F and its direction theta. All right, so, um, you know, like we always say, read the question and pinpoint exactly what the question is looking for. All right, so what is this question looking for? It wants us to determine, and I'm just going to highlight this, give it a little bit of a pink here, determine the magnitude, okay, of force F. That's the first thing we're looking for, and we're looking for the angle theta. So the angle theta is the angle that uh, the positive x-axis and the vector F makes. All right, and they also want us to find the magnitude of vector f, okay? But the important thing to note here is that we're given the magnitude of the resultant force, okay? So we're given this resultant force here, okay? And we're gonna call that just fr, it doesn't matter what we call it, fr. And we know we're given that that's equal to 500 Okay, so that's important to, you know, first read the question, identify what the information you're given, include it in the sketch, and then start the question. Okay, very important. So let's get, let's begin. And pretty much like every kind of equilibrium vector problem, okay, we're going to write uh, a series of equations. Okay, this is a 2D question, so we're going to write uh, some of the forces in X and some of the forces in Y. All right. And, you know, if it was 3D, there would be a Z component, but it's not. So uh, let's just start with that. Let's start with the X components of this diagram here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at each vector, and we're going to see if it has an X component. And if it does, we're going to, all right, write it in, uh, we're going to include it here, okay? So the sum of the forces in X, okay? And we're going to say that right is our positive direction, okay? So the marker knows what we're doing. And let's start with F, okay? So F here, we don't know what F is. That's what we're trying to find. We also don't know what theta is, all right? So we're going to write this vector in terms of F and theta, okay? So if we just pretend that there's, this makes a little triangle here, I, I like to do that just visually, all right? We're looking for the, uh, the adjacent side right here, okay? The one beside theta, the X uh, component of this triangle here. Okay, so we're going to use, so we're going to use cosine, all right, when we equate this. Also, we can see that the positive component of this triangle is in the positive x direction, as we've uh, included in our notation here. So we're going to have f cosine theta, okay, which is going to be this component here. And, well, what other vector in this diagram has an x component? And it's the 700 newton force here, and that's going in the negative x direction, okay? So, we're going to have a negative here, okay? And once again, we want this component here along the x-axis of this little triangle here. So that's going to be cosine again, all right? Just brush up on your, uh, kind of like your basic trig stuff from high school, okay? Because these are little parts of the question that you're really going to need to know how to do quickly. You don't want to make a mistake using sine instead of cos here. You get the whole question wrong. So once again, we have 700, and we're going to do 700 cosine 15. And that is equal to 0, OK? Because the, the body is in equilibrium here, OK? As well, 
the resultant force that we have, okay, is only in the y direction. Okay, if this resultant force was in the y and x direction, we would equate that to that, that component of the resultant force, but we don't have any uh, resultant force in the x, so it's equal to zero. All right, so let's uh, do exactly the same thing that we just did, but we'll do it in the y direction now, in the y axis. Okay, so we're going to say that up is our positive direction. Okay, and let's begin. So we have, let's start again with f, okay? So this time we're looking for the y component of this vector, which is going to be the opposite side of this triangle. So that is going to now be f sine theta, right? So we have f sine theta, all right? And that's in the positive, the up direction. Let's take a look at the 700 Newton force. Okay, that's down, all right? We're looking for this component here of the vector. And that is going to be sine, all right? And that is down, negative 700 sine 15 degrees, okay? And now this is where you can make a mistake, okay? Where you can make a mistake is you can just add 500 to this side of the equation and equate it to zero, and that would be wrong, okay? Because the resultant force is the addition of these two forces, okay? So it's what these two forces are equal to, all right? Don't make that mistake. So this expression here is equal to 500 newtons. All right, so now we have a set of two equations. We have equation one and we have equation two, and all we need to do is solve for our unknowns, okay? We have two unknowns, we have F, Okay, and we have theta, all right? And uh, I mean, we could substitute here, but an easier way to do it, honestly, is just to divide the two equations by each other and uh, cancel the f's. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's, uh, let's start with equation two. We'll write that on top, okay? So we have f sine theta, okay, is equal to, and we have, let's just move this uh, 700 sine 15 over to the other side. So we're going to have 700 plus, sorry, 500 plus 700 sine 15. And that is going to give us 681.17 Newtons. Very good. And let's go ahead and rewrite the second equation right below it. All right, we have F cosine theta. And moving 700 cosine 15 to the other side of the equation, we have 676.1, let's just round up, 5 newtons, okay? And uh, you'll see if we go ahead and we divide these two equations together, okay, we can cancel the f's, all right? And then sine divided by cos is going to be tangent, okay? So we'll end up with tangent theta equals, and let's just divide those two numbers. we are left with 1.007, all right? And taking the inverse tan of this, theta will be equal to 45.2 degrees, okay? So we uh, now we have what theta is equal to, okay? Theta is equal to 45.2 degrees. So we've done the first part of, well, the second part technically, but one of the parts of the question that we're asked is we've found the direction of the force. And the final step, all we need to do is go ahead and take this angle, plug it into either one of these equations, and we should get the uh, value of F, the magnitude of force F. So let's go ahead, bring that up here, and we'll just plug it into uh, this equation, that's fine. So we have F is equal to 681.17 divided by sine 45.2. And if we go ahead and calculate that, we should be left with uh, 959.9, so I'm just gonna round up, is 960 newtons. Okay. All right, so a, uh, a fairly simple problem. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you follow along. I hope that's a good review. Uh, just kind of trying to brush up on our high school vectors and our physics stuff. Stay tuned. You know, we're going to do one more of these really quickly and then we'll get into some uh, harder strengths and material stuff. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.